It's end of the day before the Lakawan trip, and look at everyone. Everyone got their tickets. All are here. And we're like 12 tomorrow. Wow. The boys have already gone for swimming. Someone else is going swimming, I'm sure. And the two in one problem, the three in one problem. <laughs> My so gosh, was so a headache, Nescafe. I don't want Nescafe ever anymore. <laughs> this is the sleepover grand finale. Yes, the Sea Chan, all Sagai. And the best supporting actor. And the legend, the father of all. <laughs> and the new rising star. May mga ngalan na sa actress, di ko yung galing. Today is Monday. Yes. And that's for the three and one. The horsey. Three and one. Yes. My three and one problem. The two short grade five. And the money pakiao. The money pakiao song. My gosh. This is the typical Filipino family when someone's on vacation. Sleep over. The boys are positioned already. Give him, give Henry one more minute and he's gonna snore. Early morning, hair all up. Off to Lakawan with family. Today, I'm gonna show you the area where I was born. Uh, Say hi, boys. The new generation. Oh, there you are, there you are, somewhere there. Oh, my brother says that's the spot, that's where we used to live. <laughs> I was born there. Can you imagine? Me living in a cosmopolitan city and liking Manila and liking international travels and I was born here. Barely nothing. So stopping over for a while for breakfast, this is where my parents' families, relatives mostly live. This is called, what's, it, what's this called? Um, Central Lopez. Central Lopez. Paraiso. Paraiso. Yeah, paraiso is a Spanish word for paradise. Today I think part of it is like a translation. So this is a Spanish, in Spanish this is cochara and tinidor. What is it in English? Spoon and pork. <laughs> You're so cute! <laughs> so Spanish, this is called plat plato. And this is platito. What do you call it in English? Plate and small plate. <laughs> in Spanish, chinelas. English, sleeper. <laughs> Sleepers. The, fa the, the family that eats together stays together. So, hi everyone. I'm gonna take over the vlog because Tita is busy. And <laughs> we're done eating breakfast at. Barangay para iso karinder ya. And I hope you learn the translations. Yes, in the translations from Spanish, from Spanish to English. And thanks to you, introduce yourself. So I'm Jermay Morano. <laughs> so we're off to Lakawan already. Yeah. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. The new generations at the back say hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So we're in Lakawan already. One boat. So we're gonna have to do it manually. I mean, on the system, you do it yourself. So you register all the number of people who accompanies you. The name and their ages long. And then you select the cottages that you want for the family or for your number of people. And then that's it. Everything is on the system. And then it prints here. You're gonna experience the floating Yeah, and we chose the space next to this, uh, what do you call that? Yung bridge. Bridge, yes. Discount basically everywhere. You have to present to prove that you're a senior. 
So it's for 50. So these are the souvenirs you can buy from the Hangon. How much? 100. So this hat costs 100 pesos. Oh. Number? What boat are we? Boat number 10. So. <laughs> so boat number 10 to Lacan Island. Where is that? There. There. The only white sand beach I think you would find somewhere. <laughs> In it's not actually part of Bacolod. But Lakawan Island has been uh, doing a great job marketing its islands because we've been here years ago and it wasn't like this. Even the systematic um, paying for the boat and all these uh, arrangements, it's now all computers. And senior citizens would need IDs, of course, for the discounts. I think it's the same 10%. with the. Uh, yeah. And when you're on the island, because from here you're supposed to get that card, the recharge card for anything that you would need on the island, water, your chips, your your food, I think so. We loaded card for, um, and, and we'll use it later there. And of course, there's a different charge for, Jeremy, what's that? Different charge for uh, the floating bar itself. Yes, it's 250 pesos per, per head. head. Yes. But that's consumable, no? Uh -uh. Consumable with four different, uh, four beer bottles. Uh -huh. Her yes. one wine and a shade of free. Ah, wine, okay. But you can stay there the whole day if you'd like, right? And then, of course, you pay separately for the cottage, which is a family cottage for us. That's 1200 And uh, arranging the boats when you come back, it's up to you. You can actually arrange it there from the reception on the island itself. Lakawan Island has done um, a beach festival. Last month, May 26th, that's the first ever beach festival they've held in Lakawon. And there were so many artists and vloggers that came from Manila. And then also there was Banana Sweet, right? That's first time on the island. That's my second. That's the floating bar, I suppose. Lakawan is a get-together, perfect for family, that's one hour travel from Bacolod.
place would look really, really beautiful. There's a hammock you could enjoy, and then a few tables right beside it, so you could enjoy hammock if you want to sleep, but not sleep over, I think. Are you gonna come back here? Do you like it here? Yes. Do you like it now? Here? Yeah. Yes. So much nice. Yes. And I'm enjoying here. Yeah, I'm sure that like a one in a few years would take a hit. So high is a floating bar across like a one, and it's actually like about three to five minutes boat ride. They have a special service from like a one port to the Kauai floating bar. I swam for like uh, 20 minutes earlier, but look at my time. Soak in that water for just five minutes and I think anyone with my skin would always turn golden brown. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Going to Lacawan is actually an hour to one hour and a half drive from Bacolod. Um, stopping by Viejo, Cadiz, where you're gonna have to pay for the port a 320, 330 pesos per person. That's for the boat ride and the entrance fee to Lakawan Island. And then in, you're not going to be allowed bringing some food from outside or your drinks because everything is here already. And in here, the food is a bit costly, but like I said, it's yummy. So for a plate of like every dish, it's uh, that served about 300 pesos. It's good for three, right? Yeah. And then the rice is 25 pesos. And then the drinks were like how much? Iced tea was like 50 pesos, I think. Coffee is 30 pesos. Yes. So at least now you have an idea. Um, going to Tauha, you're going to have to pay a separate 250 pesos. No drinks included anymore. Years ago when we were here, like I said, going to Tauha, how was that? Uh, two years ago? Uh, yes, 250. Okay, so that's it's one bottle inclusive of 250 pesos because Tauhai is like worth visiting when you're in Lakawan. You can never be in Lakawan without going to Tauhai. The three of us, we paid 750 pesos for the sake of having it, capturing it on my vlog and showing it to you. You could never be in Lakawan without visiting Tauhai anyway. The, the feel there is different from the feel here, right? So now we're ready for another swim and then in an hour we'll be leaving like a warning so we're saying goodbye saying goodbye to the banana shaped island like a warning <laughs> Very good. Oh my